just preparing for the inevitability of uh, this tree falling down. You can see that it's being uprooted right there. And all of the strands were to the inside of this tree. And uh, I've moved those all to the other side. The three bottom ones I'm going to leave for now. When that tree falls, get the chainsaw out and uh, take care of it. But at least the top part of the fence won't come down uh, when the tree does. Just preparing for the inevitable. Well, it's a big moment. We have met up in the final corner. Right there is the final corner. The entire fence line has been fixed of any limbs, trees, brush that came down in the winter and in the two windstorms that we had earlier this summer. So it's completely cleared. All wires and strands have been fixed. Everything's been pulled tight. I've added uh, two new lines, so there and there. Um, so that's, that's what we got. We still have to fix the outside, this sh short fencing. And the question really is, do we electrify that to make this all more effective? Do we add more strands so that there's uh, not six inch gaps, which the deer can still climb through? Or do we run some netting up the uh, bottom half? All uh, possible ideas. Uh, feel free to put in the comments what you think we should do. Good news is we're definitely having impact. Uh, we're seeing uh, much more in terms of uh, native plants that are growing up. We found some uh, be, uh, small seedling oaks and maples uh, that are not being browsed by the deer. Far fewer uh, deer in general on the property, and we're not excluding the other animals, which is why we haven't electrified uh, or done, you know, more of a barrier. Well, this was a big mess. Hopefully we can insert a picture of what this looked like to begin with. Um, but we had a ton of poplar and birch come down during a windstorm. So you can see all that had to be removed. All of that is on the outside. And these are what are left in the inside. That I cut last year, but that piece those pieces and that were all on top of this fence line. So it's done and it's open until that one falls down or that one or that. <laughs> it's a never ending project, but gets me outside and good for uh, one's mental health and exercise. The pull line has uh, worked great. It's stiffened up the entire fence line and is an inexpensive way to add more barrier. Um, and quite honestly, walking the property and tying the knots uh, becomes kind of meditative and it's good to be outdoors. So if I need to run uh, additional strands, uh, probably good for my mental health anyways. So. Stay tuned and we'll keep, uh, keep you posted as uh, to the progress of this fencing project. Steven, are you coming out of the woods a happy man? Well, I'm coming out a man who finished the fence line. Oh, doesn't that feel great? Yep, eight miles of strands, eight miles. Wow, how does it feel? Little uh, mixed, because it's done. Which yeah. Is good, but it's still larger than six inch gaps. So intellectually, I know I'm not done. I see. But I'm trying to live in the moment, which I, you know, always do. Yes. Very effectively. Yes, always you're excellent at yeah. that. Yes.